This morning, President Obama described the tech surge as the Department of Health and Human Services has brought in experts from around the country to try and fix healthcare.gov. This online insurance marketplace serving the bulk of the country, including Virginia, has been besieged with problems since its launch October 1st. And we asked Chris Van Cleef from our new watchdog unit to follow the money and find out how much these issues are costing taxpayers. Chris, what'd you find? Well, Leon, the White House, the Department of Health and Human Services, and the local company hired to do the bulk of the design work for this website, well, they aren't giving specific answers about the problems, who's to blame, and what it will cost to fix. We know it's already cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. We are confident that we will get all the problems fixed. President Obama does Rose Garden damage control, admitting what we've known for weeks. There are major problems with healthcare.gov. What he didn't say is what it's costing you. The primary contractor hired for computer systems design services is CGI Federal, a Northern Virginia-based subsidiary of a Canadian company. Their 2011 contract was for $55.7 million, with a ceiling of $93.7 million. A month ago, the contract had ballooned to $196 million, and the final price tag could be almost $300 million. It really makes you question, why did we invest $200 million into a product that's not working? Scott Amy is from the Project on Government Oversight. He says the lack of transparency has been troubling. Unfortunately, the administration and HHS haven't been forthcoming with information about how well the website is working, where the failure is coming in, and why. For an administration that said it was going to be the most transparent ever, it's almost like there's a code of omerta of absolute silence around this. Bill Allison from the Sunlight Foundation spent weeks identifying the 48 contractors involved in launching healthcare.gov. Companies Allison found spent about $125 million lobbying the government since the Affordable Care Act became law and whose employees donated nearly $4 million to the president's campaign. When you have influence, it's easier to get contracts in Washington. The administration is refusing to say how many people have enrolled in plans bought on healthcare.gov, but the district announced today 321 people have used DC HealthLink to select insurance plans. 164 have actually bought insurance. DC didn't hire a vendor to build the site until January as part of a $49.5 million contract. It was delivered on budget and has worked with only a few minor issues. The response has been overwhelming. I'm, I'm thrilled with what we've been able to do. All right, the district did not use the same contractor that was used to build healthcare.gov. And now CGI Federal told us in a statement that their teams are working around the clock to fix the site. CGI and HHS were not able to tell us if those fixes will cost taxpayers more money or if they'll be covered in the contract that's already been awarded. In fact, HHS was not able to answer several questions we provided them today. We're hoping to update you with those answers tomorrow. We're going to stay on this. Live in the newsroom, Chris Van Cleve. ABC 7 News. Thank you, Chris. And if you see government waste or questionable activity in your community, please contact our new ABC 7 Watchdog team. You can send us an email at watchdogtips at wjla.com.